There's a famous quote by Mike Tyson. He said, If you're not humble, life will visit humbleness upon you. Well, life paid me a visit today. <laughs> Let's get into the PL recap. Come on. So to set the stage, I wake up incredibly early. I trade incredibly early in the morning. Uh, coming into, well, my eyes being open, <laughs> I was up $1,000 in uh, one of my brand new 150 k accounts this morning. And um, I was really pressing. I really wanted to get it out of the trailing drawdown today. And that didn't go so well for me. Um, I got short up here, uh, had to go to work, left this trade on thinking, ah, oh, it'll come back and bust at the bottom. It's like I just sat here and dug a giant hole through brand new, my brand new accounts in and then covered all the dirt back up on top of them, leaving them buried. Um, that's essentially what I did this morning and why why already being up over a grand wasn't sufficient enough for me. I don't know. I don't know why. That That's so nonsensical to me. That's so stupid. Um, I do know why. I wanted them to pass the drawdown. But still, <laughs> if you were up a grand, stop. Right? Freaking stop. Go do something else. You have done more than your job for the day. Stop. Uh, because if I would have been more patient, more patient, the market freaking delivered today. And it delivered in a huge way. That is a giant freaking run up. Uh, and there were plenty of opportunities to make money throughout the day. Everywhere. Long and short. Everybody got paid today. But because I turned into this guy, <laughs> because I turned into this fella, there, there's a big reason why I hang that on my wall now, and it's to remind myself to not be that guy. Don't be a greedy pig. Take what you get and get out, right? And uh, it just wasn't enough for me today. I wasn't going to be happy until my account was past the drawdown limit. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, let's actually get into the to the real P&L of what I... The one account that I do have left, uh, I cracked off uh, uh, the grand in that account. Um, that brings that total to fifty four ninety. Um, that's after the two thousand dollars has been removed from it for the payout. I couldn't be more happy and elated with what I've been able to accomplish in that account, with the exception of last Wednesday. I would like to have last Wednesday back, <laughs> but other than that, I have done excellent in that account and. Uh, the journey continues with it. I was able to pass another 150k evaluation today. Um, I am more than happy that Apex has left in their one-day pass. Because um, if it wasn't, if they revert it and went back to seven days, like if you started an evaluation today, you wouldn't be able to finish that joker for like two weeks. It takes seven full business days of trading to be able to pass an evaluation the old way. So. Having a one-day pass is really, really beneficial to me, and I try to take full advantage of it when it's there, and uh, I did today. So I got one of the 150s back. Um, we'll see if I can keep my wits about me and trade it like a normal person instead of a degen. <laughs> oh, man. It's just, a, it, it's crazy to me how I can do so awesome in this account and then can't trade my way out of a wet paper bag in the other ones. And, and again, I know why it's, it's being ancient, uh, anxious, not being patient and not taking good setups. Like this one right here was a good setup going short. You had that speed and momentum coming down. 
And uh, I wanted to keep going. I really wanted to keep going right here. But you know what? I looked at the P&L. I said, hey, dude, we're at a grand on this account. We're done for the day. Could I have sat here and kept on? Yeah. Yeah, I could have. But I didn't. Um, I wish I would have done that this morning. <laughs> I wish I would have just stopped. But you know what? I didn't. So it is what it is. Anyway, that is all I got. As always, I very much appreciate y'all tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Take care.